welcome to Tonic Studios and Hedgehog Hollow. So today we have the Tonic Craft Kit 27. Um, we're super, super excited. So we had some issues, so we're actually live on phone, so let us know if you can hear us. And um, we've got Ali and Sean behind the cameras monitoring your comments as well. So it's all a little bit different to normal, but we are here. So let us know, say hi, and we are super excited to reveal this kit. I got this kit and I am so excited because it has some really, really fun things inside of it as well. So let's dive in. If you don't know about the Tonic Craft Kits, I have already linked it up for you in the video descriptions. Also, you'll want to check out Inktoberfest that's going on right now. So every day throughout October, we have a different tutorial over at the Hedgehog Hollow. It's also co-hosted with Tonic Studios. Um, they also have an Inktoberfest sale going on. A link to in the video description if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook, you can go to thehedgehoghollow.com, click into one of those videos, and you can go check out, or one of the blog posts rather, you can go check out all of the information. Um, and really fun things that every day there's a different tutorial, there's also a different coupon code and a different giveaway as well. So lots of fun things going on. We teach you about a different type of ink every single day. Um, as I said, different giveaway, different coupon codes. Uh, Tonic have a different selection of products every week, 10% off. Again, linked in the video description for you. So lots of amazing and fun things and lots of ways to win crafty goodies as well. So go check that out too. And I'll mention it again, of course, during the video. And if you, wherever you're watching, make sure you like the page, give a thumbs up, hit subscribe, all of those fun things because lots of amazing things going on too. Okay, so let's dive in to kit number 27. So the kits all come in these boxes. This kit will ship November 1st. And we have some gorgeous things in here. So in the Tonic Craft Kits, they always come with a folder like this. And inside your folder, you'll notice it's uh, hole punched. So every few kits you get a binder to pop this into so you can store and organize all of your dies and your stamps that come inside the kit. And we all love to be able to store things perfectly. Every kit will also have a craft kit sticker. It's different in every single kit. So this one says, create something magical every day, which I think is awesome. It's got little pixies and things around it. Super, super cute. And then you'll notice inside we have our stamps and dies. So I'm just gonna grab them out here. And inside here we have, this is our stamp set. I'll take it out the packaging so that you don't have the glare. But you've got in here this um, like thistle or you could use it as a pine cone if you wanted to use it for holidays. So you could use it a whole year round or you could just use it holiday specific. You've got leaf veins on here which are gonna coordinate with your dies. And then you've got best wishes, wishing you a magical day and your enchanting. You've also got the acorn on here and you have this lovely mushroom as well. So lots and lots of options and you're gonna see how this all coordinates together. But absolutely a beautiful, magical themed kit here. Links are in that description for you. It's $39.99 a month. If you sign up for multiple months, you can save on the shipping options as well. So they are down there as well. And in here we have your dies. You have two sheets of dies in this kit. So let me open these up and I can share with you. So we have one complete set of nestable stackable dies and then we have some add-ons as well. So this is your first one here. So you have your two leaves that coordinate with those veins that I showed you in the stamp set. And then we have flowers here. You've also got this beautiful kind of like cascade of leaves. So you could use this like a vine, you could embellish with it. You've got all sorts of lovely ideas. You also have this fairy pixie down here as well who can be spreading magic all over your project. You can be adding you know, spreading glitter or confetti, all of those gorgeous things. Perfect also to add into any kind of shaker card too. So lots and lots of options there. And then you have this full sheet of these stackable dies. And the great thing about these is you can mix and match this stack of dies. So lots and lots of options. And again, there is a little fairy um, or pixie in the middle here. And then these are your stackables. So they're all circular. So this one is trees at the top and little vines that hang down and then leaves. And then you have um, circle dies in between that will cut if you want them to. Or if you don't, if you just wanna build up a scene, you can do that and have it like a shadow box effect. And then you have another vine one, 
and again another cut one and then your final vine one as well so you can really mix and match depending on what you want to cut out with your stackables so lots and lots of options in this one as well and if you have any questions drop them in the comments the guys will let me know as well because i can't see your comments we've got all of our phones filming today and then we have lots of accessories so you can build out the perfect scene or the perfect card with all of these items so you have a nouveau glitter marker and if you've ever watched one of my lives before you know i love these glitter markers they are super super cool there are so many different things you can do with them i've done tons of videos with them you can go check them out on the hedgehog hollow channel there's a tonic playlist there there's also if you're watching this on youtube this will get added to our tonic live playlist as well um, but when you first get this pen you're going to want to prime it so you just literally hold down the tip and it will prime so it just takes maybe a minute or so but these work great you can use them on your stamps as an actual like ink pad and it will prime uh, you can also uh, use it as a watercolor so you can pop it down on your glass mat and then watercolor as well and you can then use it as a pen too so lots and lots of variations you'll see that color starting to come down for me and it's nearly there the great thing is it works on your dark cardstock. You can see, look at all of that beautiful shimmer, but it works on my black cardstock as well as it's going to work on maybe like a craft or a white cardstock. So I can scribble on my envelope here and it works just as well with all that extra pigment in as well. So lots and lots of options you can see on there too. So lots of fun things in there as well. So that works too. So you've got your glitter marker. You've also got some really fun samples in here too of new things to try out. So you have a dream drop, which is gonna work great with your um, fairies and pixies. This one is the fairy wing, so very apt. Again, this works really well on dark and light cardstocks. So if I pipe it out on a black cardstock, this is only a smaller dot, but you're gonna find when you get it, try it out because if you put it on dark cardstock, versus putting it on light cardstock, you're gonna get a different effect. They're slightly translucent, and the color of the cardstock you put your dream drops on really affects the color of the dried drop. So try that out with the dream drops. You also in here have a glitter drop, and this is uh, champagne. Again, try it out on different colors of cardstock. So um, slightly translucent with that glitter in. So here in the bottle, it looks very pinky. On here, it looks more purpley because I've put it on black cardstock and that black really does affect some of that color. So when you're playing with Nouveau drops, Dream drops, all of those, try them out on different colors of cardstocks because some of them are more translucent than others and that's gonna really affect the color of the finished drop that you get as well. You also have a sample of Glacier Paste, which is just gorgeous. So Glacier Paste, has a huge amount of mica in it. Now, glacier paste you can also paint with. You don't just have to use it as a paste through stencils. And remember that these dyes that you have in your pack here make absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous stencils as well. So you could create a stencil with this and then use your glacier paste with it. I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. Again, this works great on dark and light cardstocks. So if I pop this here on my dark cardstock, you can see that pigment is so strong it really really does show up and it still has that awesome glitter you can put it on super thick to create texture as well and that green with all of that mica shimmer in it is just going to look amazing think with your pixies you've got the green so you can make that lush kind of green um uh, like meadows and things for them to be in as well so you're going to have lots and lots of fun creating those sceneries or adding maybe dots and textures. You could take your uh, silicone daubers or maybe just like your ink dauber and just pop a little bit on those green areas on your dyes as well. You don't just have to um, add it uh, as an entire area or just pop it through a stencil. You could just kind of daub some on to little areas in your dyes as well. So think of those as options too. You also have a three pack of alcohol markers. So if you ever wanted to try out the Nouveau alcohol markers, go ahead and try them. These are the cookies and creams. They're dual tip, so you have a bullet nib 
and you have a chisel nib as well. They come in blending trios, so these three colors are gonna blend together perfectly from light, medium, and dark. And whenever I'm blending, I always make sure that I'm blending three colors together. That's what's gonna give you that perfect ombre look. Um, these are say the cookies and creams. I have lots and lots of tips, again, in our alcohol marker playlist if you're watching on YouTube. And if you want to learn more about coloring with alcohol markers, you can join our alcohol marker challenge that Tonic are um, helping me launch and things. And it, all it does is use the Nuvo alcohol markers. So if you join that challenge, you'll get three more packs of the Nuvo markers as well. So you can check that out. Links are in the YouTube video, or you can go to thecraftchallenge.com to find out more about it. So thank you Tonic for helping me launch that. And if you want to become an alcohol marker coloring pro, you can check that out too. And finally, uh, before I get to the papers, we have more of the amazing tonic washi tape. I loved the last designs, and now we have three more. So this one is called Canola Field, and you've got this gorgeous, gorgeous mustard yellow in here. The next one along is this beautiful meadow scene. It has blossoms and leaves and everything all around it. Absolutely beautiful tape on here. It even got some, like, some purples and turquoises. So lots and lots of colors you can introduce into your projects there. And then this final one just has some pretty textures. So whether you want to seal your envelopes with it, you've got dots and circles and there's some watercolors in here as well. So lots and lots of different things you've got around here as well. Um, amazing things you can do with these. We can create textures with them. You can create patterns, you can seal things. You can just create your own backgrounds with them. You can also color on top of these with your alcohol markers because they'll work on non-porous surfaces too. So again, lots and lots of different things you can do with them. We had three before in one of the uh, tonic kits. I think it was blue colors off the top of my head and they were just so much fun to work with. So lots and lots of things you can do with those. And you can stamp on them with an archival base ink too if you want to create things. And then you have a whole pack of extra goodies in here too. So let me make sure I put everything out. And they always come in these do not bend envelopes. They'll keep them nice and flat for you. So you have a whole pack of the Craft Perfect Foam Squares. These are the 25 mil square ones. They're about an inch in a square. You can create all sorts of fun things. And what's also really fun is to put a whole sheet of these down on a card and create glitter tiles. So what you can do is peel up one at a time and create all different colors of glitter, like a patchwork pattern. And if you go into patchwork books, you can create all sorts of fun things like trip around the world on here, or you can create, um, I'm trying to think of some of the different things, you, like the patterns, you can do like log cabin, you can do all sorts of fun things using these tile squares and just cover them in different colors, colors of glitter because you can pick up one top by top, or of course you can just use them in like the standard way or trim them down if you want to make smaller. Use the Tim Holtz non-stick scissors and you know it won't stick or any of those things. So that's an option for you. Then you have this beautiful like purple with a gold shimmer, which is gonna match your dream drop uh, perfectly, that fairy wings you can see there, how that color matches. And as always with these handmade papers, I know I talk about this a lot, but you can always turn this paper over, keep that same texture, add on something like your glacier paste and create this in any color you want. So if you love this texture, but you say, well, actually I'm gonna be using yellow in my project and I don't want to use, I want a yellow version of this paper. You can customize this paper because it's porous and cotton with any color of glacier paste, of mousse, of sparkle sprays, of um, shimmer powders. You can add anything you want and customize it. So you've got that. You have the beautiful glitter paper, and this is no shed. So you can die cut this. It's gonna work perfectly with the dies included in your kit. You can, as I said, die cut it. It's not gonna shed. Um, you've got all sorts of beautiful options, and how pretty is that? I mean, perfect fairy colors in there as well. You have another one of our embossed cardstocks here with like this quilted pattern, and it also has some little extra designs in there. And it's just a nice neutral to go in the background of your cards. It's gonna work with all of these colors. And you have two of the canvas card stocks too. Um, so I really like these. I talk about this a lot in the unboxing videos. We've got the olive and kind of like the lighter green that's more into like the cookies and cream colors. But if you want the canvas texture, you can use it this way around. Or if you want something smoother, just turn it the other way around and it's a much smoother texture. It's a solid core card stock, so you can use it the whole way through. Sand it down to add texture, but that color's still gonna be there. But this side is really smooth for your projects. And this side here uh, has that canvas texture to it. So you have lots of options in your projects too. 
So that's another one. And then you also have the lilac pearlescent here again. It's going to work beautifully with those Nouveau drops that are included. It's going to create beautiful die cuts. It's that perfect weight. And I can just imagine your kind of meadows with everything hanging down in there. And then you can add your green for those greenery areas from your glacier pastes. And then finally, you have the satin version in the pink. And you all know how much I love those mirror satin papers. They just look so elegant uh, just without that high gloss. I much prefer the satin personally. These are my absolute favorite papers. We go through tons of these. I mean, the black velvet, I probably use in 99% of my projects. I just love matting with these satin papers. So let's quickly recap everything you have because it's a really jam-packed uh, subscription box as always from Tonic. Um, we have all of those beautiful papers that you have in here. Um, we have those foam squares that you have tons of ideas for. Again, check out the playlists. We have your sets of washi tape. You've got your alcohol markers. You can check out the craft challenge again if you want to learn how to become an expert on using those. You've got your trial of the glacier paste, your glitter marker, which we have tons of ideas for you to use as well. Card socks and light because they'll be totally different, so you'll get extra usage out of those. And I did just do a video about how to use these as a paste medium. You don't just have to use them as an embellishment. So if you want to try them out and stretch them even further, go check that out. And then we have your two pages of dies as well. So you have those. And then you also have your set of stamps your craft sticker and your storage envelope as well. So absolutely jam packed as always. That's Craft Kit 27. It will ship out on the 1st of November. So check out the links in the description, wherever you're watching, hit the like button. Of course, check out the Inktoberfest festivities for giveaways, coupons, and check out all of the incredible sale as well. Thank you for joining us today as well. We'll be back with another tonic video next Wednesday as part of the Inktoberfest but check out everything else in between as well. And I cannot wait to be sharing something exciting with you. We have a stamp release coming tomorrow and then something else coming next week. So stay tuned. I'll see you soon, everyone. Bye.